man, say man, say man, hey man, what it do? Oh, what it do? Oh, what it do? It's your boy Two Coach, Charlie Q Smith himself, and always your boy. Always it's your boy. B. You did, yes, you sir. did. Yes, hey man, this episode right here is gonna be. I'm gonna call this one here the response episode. Uh-oh. Oh, we got a lot of responses going on. That entertainment. Uh oh. Hey man, say man. Say like, man, what we gonna man. start? What we gonna? I mean, we got a lot. We could, we got stuff to talk about in this episode. It's bro. I'm, I'm talking about the this. responses of the responses. So we gonna what kick we it off. We gonna kick it off like this right here. So, all right. If you don't know, Amaretta the Great. You know what I'm saying? She's a I love. She's a rapper. Also a love and hip hop cast member as right, well. Right. All right. Now she came out with her new single, Sorry Not Sorry, about mm-hmm. a month ago. Right. And uh, she got the name calling. Calling folk on how they ain't Ooh. Atlanta. Now, Amarita the Great is also known as OTG. She and um, she's from Atlanta, Zone Three to be exact. What part is that? I, I, I'm not zone, too familiar with zone, the zones. Okay, so I know zone zone two. I know zone six is the east side. Okay, I think zone one two three is like you know what I'm saying. So you got the east side, you got the west side, and then you got the swats like south side slash west. You feel me? Right, we Alabamians talking. You feel me? But yeah, that's how I go. So she from Zone Three. So she from Atlanta. You feel me? Okay. However, she went on to once again name folks that ain't from Atlanta. Now, if you haven't heard "Sorry Not Sorry," goes a little something like this. That hospital bed where you born. Look, I know it sounds crazy, but I'm a A baby. I gotta start pulling for card. We had to live in this zoo where you don't make it out, so I don't give a fuck what they say. Look, if you niggas ain't go up in APS system, you bitches, it's not from the A. Oh, and you from the nigga up that pep try to spell that. Talking about you from the outskirts, could've killed that. Right where you from and no right where you home. No Air Force claim around the world, no they felt that. Earned out my scratch and I got my respect. The whole city know I'm a beast. Look, if you not from this side and you don't know the facts, you're chilling, repeat after me. Let it go. It's not that loud. Light on you, it's not that Atlanta. Clay Cole, it's not Atlanta. Nope. Decatur, it's not. Hey man, it's not Atlanta. Right. So the reason why I'm calling this uh the response episode. Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh cause uh everybody know Ludacris. Now Ludacris, his parents, you know what I'm saying, split when he was young. Uh he was born in Illinois. However, pain to be exact. You feel me? So he however he came to Atlanta around about the age of twelve. Nah. Nine. Nine years old. He nine. 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 Yes. Okay. Nine through twelve. He was down there in the lounge. You feel me? Right. Well, um, B, what else on on Luda? You got Man, okay. So for the first time in my life I've ever looked up Luda Chris's Wikipedia. Very interesting. Did you know he was related to Richard Pryor? That's a cousin. And Monica is his cousin. All righteous. All righteous. Uh but Luda Chris though, he attended uh Banneker High School in Georgia. He went to Georgia State University. I mean, he's as Atlanta as it can get, man. I mean, I mean, I feel like if you live in one city longer than you did in the city you was born from, that kind of like them folk rage like that's kind of all you know right here. You they they rage. I mean, and not to mention Ludacris, he was one of the pioneers of Atlanta hip hop. Straight you know up. What I, okay, nobody can take it from Jermaine Dupri mm-hmm. and what he did with uh, So So Deaf, but. What Ludacris and them did with disturbing the peace, man. man I mean, that DT, helped us in a movement. It did. You know what I'm saying? It when did. I think of people that started the Atlanta hip hop movement, I'm thinking of Outkast. I'm thinking of JD. I'm thinking of Ludacris, man. Exactly. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, and by that logic, I mean, and when you the, look at Atlanta rappers, I, a lot of them ain't from Atlanta. Look, of course. And look, let me let me tell you how ironic this is, though. For her to say, "Cuz ain't from Atlanta," to have a record label in Atlanta. DTP and also sign X that's from Atlanta actually right. from Atlanta like that's crazy for right. me not to be Atlanta I'm signing, signing Atlanta X so I've been so Atlanta for so long like you feel me right. before you probably even born before like, you mama. even born man you feel me and, and, that's crazy and, okay so cause if you wanna talk about Atlanta Atlanta they'll rap Jeezy who's from Belsom, Alabama they'll rap Jeezy who's from South Carolina mm-hmm. Pastor Troy Augusta, Georgia. Yep. You know what I'm saying? And yep. the list goes on and on. Yep. So if you want to talk about it like that, uh, I mean, it's hard to say. Big boy from Savannah, Georgia. Part of one, one half of Outcast. Of Outcast. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I mean, 
Did she say College Park was not Atlanta? Yeah. How many Atlanta rappers love saying the different College Park? You feel me? College Park and College Park got their own situation going on. Like this so, ain't Atlanta, Atlanta. Maybe she's just trying to clear the way so she can be the only Atlanta rapper ever. That's hard. So look though, if Luda forty four years old, right, and he moved to Atlanta when he was like nine, ten, eleven, he twelve, was, he was nine to be exact. So just do the math, my boy. So that'll be what thirty three years. And La Mama Amarillo twenty five years. So he been living in Atlanta longer than she been living. How long she been living? So his response was. I know you from. Luda making hella noise. Cause a star was born and I'll take this as I'm a redder, gave him credit for it. Cause early I moved to College Park, got rich like Ludacris, hit the lot up. I spent so much time in Magic City every day, I'm so Atlanta was always my motto. At Banagher High School, I was high, fool. No money but my mouth moving. Fast forward, five years, five million dollar crib, South Fulton, I pop Atlanta. Won't let nobody mock Atlanta. I brought millions of dollars to the city, not a whole world jockey letter. I was wondering if this was propaganda to get more juice than tropicana. Yeah. Overheard this song, I was shooting a movie. I told him to stop the camera to say, no matter what block Atlanta, no city can op Atlanta. Ever since the South had something to say, nobody could stop Atlanta. They won't top Atlanta. We Go. don't knock Atlanta. Go. We got proper manners, but the whole world know we'll cock a hammer. Leaving people wetter than aqua panel. Red shirts like Clark Atlanta talk country grammar. And no matter who don't like it, haters, I'm home. Heard my name and had to address this. Thank you, ladies, I'm gone. Look. Buddy, forgot he responded. They responded. Yeah, he responded, man. That was crucial, though. But, nah, that was hard. Uh, hey, I stay. I mean, I don't have a dog in the fight because I'm not from Atlanta. But mm -hmm. uh, I definitely stand with Luda. And I mean, man, you know, rep what rep the city that put you on. Rep the city that you live in you know what i'm saying i think we get so caught up in where you from where you from and they, and they want to say well where were you born at but Ludacris knows nothing about champaign illinois he was just born there literally the man said he thought it was propaganda and then came to atlanta you know what i'm saying so mojo was in the tropical um, they, okay me i wrote 205 hard i'll hard. tell the world i'm from birmingham you from Birmingham, cool? I got, I got shirts that say it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm proud of it. But I wasn't born here. Oh, no. This is new right here. Breaking Lord. news. I wasn't born in the city of Birmingham. No. Yeah, I was born in Montgomery, Alabama. I just found that out. Right. Just, no, you didn't. I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, though. But if somebody asks me where you from, from Birmingham. Cool, you not Birmingham, boy. I am Birmingham. Man, hold on. I'm going to call Amarillo. <laughs> you was not Birmingham, boy. I am Birmingham. I go, uh, Irondale is not, not Birmingham. Yeah. Trustful is not, not Birmingham. <laughs> Who is not Birmingham? We ain't finna do that. Feel me. We ain't finna do that. What All of Birmingham. Birmingham City Lim I mean, uh, Birmingham Metropolitan. So we, we gonna keep it up. Birmingham public school system, like. Oh, I can't speak. I didn't go to Birmingham. Man, they man here from the gum. But nah, that's so crazy, though, because I was born in the ham, but raised in the gum. You feel me? Right. So what so are you from? Both. So if somebody be like, where you from? You be like, Montgomery and Birmingham. Like born in the hand, raised in the gunk. That's what I was telling folks. Sound like you finna spit some balls. All oh, right, yeah, yeah. born in the ham, raised in the gunk. And then again, out of slump. You slow, yeah. Walmart parking lot. You used to sell clothes out the trunk. <laughs> yeah, hard, oh, like, too cool. I and mean, if you step to Marama, go grab the dunk. What? <laughs> man, that's hard. So, Craziness. Responses. Go with your response. All right, man. So these three. Uh oh. Black China, Rob Kardashian, and Tiger. But Tiger looked like a zombie. Um, but I brought this up because Black China tweeted out this uh, this week. Yesterday, I had to give up three of my cars, my reasons, morals, beliefs, being a single mother, no support. I'm a mama. And then she said, she went on later to say, uh, single, no support, child support. Right. All right, let's 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 break that down now. All right. La mama said, "Focus on it now." No support. Child I'm a mama. Yeah. Single, no support, child support. Right. Okay, so is you looking for support? She just, I think she was just throwing out there that she gave up three of her cars. Her reason for giving up her cars is because she's a single mother that gets no support. So she's basically saying that she's a single mo mother that gets nothing from her children's fathers. For the child. For the for the the child is what she's saying because, you know, her baby daddies are Tyga and Rob Kardashian. Both of them are millionaires and 
So she's just trying to pretty much throw out there like they ain't doing nothing to help her with these kids, right? Because she had to give up three of her cars. She had to give up three, three of her cars. That's what she said. For now. These kids, right? That's what she said. Now I gotta take a sip. Oh, what you sipping on? Why? Cause you already know I get that. I Little sip. black coffee. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so anyway, once she put this on Instagram now. And the shade room being the shade room said Black China reveals she had to give up a field for her whoops yesterday uh, and reiterates that she isn't getting any support from the fathers of her children. And they hashtag Tiger and hashtag Rob Kardashian. Oh, a response. Rob Kardashian official was the first one to come in. He said, I pay 37000 a year for my daughter's school. I handle every single medical expense. I pay all her extracurricular activities. I have my daughter from Tuesday to Saturday. Why would I pay child support? That's one call. Go ahead. Tiger <laughs> responds to that and says, I pay 40000 a year for my son's school, and he lives with me Monday through Saturday. Why would I pay child support? That's two calls. So, what I've gathered from all of this, though, for real, is Black China only has her kids one day a week, number one. Number two, the fathers literally take care of them. What are you complaining about? What are you, as I see, and I see, this is what, I mean, when I say living beyond your means. Right. That This is a prime example of living beyond, beyond your, your means. means. Because they're not, that quote-unquote child support is not to take care of you. Take care of the child. Of the child. And they're taking care of their children. So listen here. You said you had to give up three of your cars, but two cup. Listen to two cup. You got one child that ain't old enough to drive, ain't old enough to work, but make 40000 a year. You got another child, ain't old enough to work, ain't old enough to drive, but make 37000 a year. They straight. Kids are good. They straight. But what it is is... Because you got some folk out here that right now that have been working for 20 years ain't making 37000 a year. But see, 40 a year. See, but what it is, though, what, what I've gathered from this is instead of her having the kids full-time and they, them paying her $50,000 a month, then she do what she need to do with it. They have their children all the time. They take care of their children. She don't see the money. She don't. And let's remember here, guys, Black China really doesn't have a career. She don't see the she money. She just kind of got turned on because of her body and whatever else. But she don't have a career. She want that hand-to-hand she transaction. She the bread. Yeah. Exactly. But it's set up to a way that she don't touch it. So therefore. And no judge in America is going to grant her child support because you don't have the children. And plus, these folks, is take the children's taken care of. Well taken care of. Wish my daddy would give me forty thousand dollars. So little hill check, check this out right here. These folks making thirty seven thousand. You feel me? Um, I mean, they paying thirty seven thousand for Detroit. Rob paying thirty seven thousand for his daughter's school, and Tiger's paying forty thousand for his daughter's school for his son's school. Oh, that's too hard. That's yeah. too hard. You know, I'm in the bands on here. Right. So, <laughs> so something the world don't do often. I'm gonna. Took my hat to these two fathers. Man, shout out to the For pops, being fathers, man. man. For being real fathers and, you know, just doing what has to be done. They ain't looking, they ain't out there in the in the news looking for handouts, looking for congratulations. They never even would have said anything if she didn't say anything. Exactly. But so, she felt some type of way. I don't know why. That she ain't getting that hand to hand. So that one car went to the two cars. The two cars went to the three cars. So she can catch up getting them up the bag that the children get. Who fault is that, though? The At the tr- end of the day. Hold up. The children making more money than La Mama. Hey, <laughs> that what it sound like, that. 40 bands, 37 bands a month. That's what it sound like. I mean, what do Black China do? I mean, I'm Google it. What do Black China do? Like, for real, for real. I'm curious at this point. She's starting to give me a little uh, Britney Renner uh, vibes. I mean, Britney Renner got a job, though. Yeah. She's she, she working on job number two now. You seen how job number one went. Britney. Oh! I'm- <laughs> you think about the basketball player. I'm thinking Britney Griner. La mama, uh, you feel me? But nah, though, man. So, all the single dads out there, single moms out there, hey, man. I took my hat to the single fathers, man, because y'all out there doing it, because clearly she don't have her children that often. That's hard. Right. Response. Number three. 
speaking of backlash, back slaps and slaps and backhands and daps. Y'all know we gotta we 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 gotta put it to bed. This is gonna be the last time we gonna talk about this, right? Um, because I think we went in depth with it last week. Went in depth with it a lot of times. It's something to keep going in depth about. This is never gonna get over. <laughs> keep going, my boy. So Jada, Will, and Chris Rock. Uh, Will like he finna cry in that picture. Um, I ain't gonna talk about Jada because I don't want to get slapped today. So, uh, but anyway, you already know what happened. Uh. At the Oscars, Will slap Chris Rock over a Jada joke, blase, blase, blase. But Chris has a brother who's also a comedian. I know. Well, he has a brother that's a comedian, but he also has nine other brothers. Nine other brothers? Yes, it's ten on bit out. Oh. <laughs> Chris has ten brothers that I didn't know of. <laughs> nine brothers that I didn't know about. Um, and his brother Tony Rock did a show shortly after the Oscars, and this was his response to it. Response. Oh, we on pot for the rest of the year. Oh, we on pot for the rest of the year. Let's set some ground rules right now, y'all. Let's set some ground rules. If I say anything tonight, anybody got a fucking problem with? You got one motherfucking option what you can do about it. Absolutely nothing. Because if you think you want to walk up on this stage... Get what? This ain't the motherfucking Oscars. Yeah, you popping it, man. You popping it. And if you walk your ass up here, you ain't nominated for shit with these motherfucking ass. Yo, right. let's go. <laughs> let's like pop it. it. I like it. I let's like pop it. it. Hey, buddy. Oh, we don't pop the rest of the year. Oh, yeah, it's up. Oh, it's up. Every it's up. Every time you see me do a show, pop. It's up. I ain't want to start the show like that. I did. Let go. Love it. You gonna hit my motherfucking brother? Oh, what's up? What's up? What's up? Cause your bitch gave you a side eye? Ooh. Ooh. I like it. That must say I like it. He's a <laughs> sick like individual. It. I, like <laughs> I like it. He's a sick fella. <laughs> oh, it's a lot of rock brothers. Y'all ain't know it's a lot of rock brothers. Oh. It's ten of us, motherfucker. You about to see all the rock brothers. Oh, cool. You gonna be like, I didn't even know that nigga was a rock brother. That nigga a rock brother? That's a rock brother? I ain't gonna start the show like that, but I just wanna let y'all know that shit ain't gonna ride. Hey, that ain't gonna ride, my boy. I gotta give Tony Rock a, a round of applause. Team and, Will, um, Team Will. Because uh, that's what should have been said. Chris can't say it. Chris can't, but his yeah, brothers can. can. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's that. That should have should have been said, man. Straight off, like, dog, you ain't finna be. That ain't gonna happen. That real. You know what I'm saying? And I salute Chris for the way that he responded. I salute him for how he handled himself in the moment. But <gasps> that needed to be said. Like, nah, dog, that's talk. not gonna be we ain't finna be doing that. He ain't real gonna talk. be just walking up on the stage. Real talk. And I I feel like if comedians don't get a hand on it now, it's gonna set a precedent that anytime they start roasting you, you can you walk, walk up, up there and, and you can do something to them and you'll be celebrated the way that they're trying to celebrate Will. That's not going to be tolerated, yeah. man, because I'm telling you, these some of these comedians, you're going to have to see them. Bring it out. Them walk hands. up on that stage if you want to. DC Young, young, DC yeah. young Fly. Did the same out, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like You're going to have to see them, dog. So I feel like that should have been said, and I feel like more comedians are going to have to put that out there from, from Jump Street, especially – the ones that do a lot of crowd work and a lot of roasting. Um, now you got some of your just on stage, get up there and tell stories. Uh, like a Dave Chappelle comedian, he ain't really got nothing to worry about. Cause Dave Chappelle's are gonna literally stand on the stage and talk. Um, he do say some offensive stuff though, so that may rile up the crowd. But then you got people like a Carlos Miller or a DC who really do a lot of crowd work, who really goes out into the crowd and really start roasting and cracking. Those are the ones they gonna have to sit that when they hit the stage. Come up on this stage if you want to. You're gonna be nominated these hands, my wife. Straight hand action. You gonna and everyone gonna hit. I, I like Step up if you if you want to, you're gonna be But no, nah, though, for real, for real though, man. So yeah, man, we just wanna let the people know, man, about the do's and the don'ts in life, you know? Yeah, man. So uh -huh. shout out to all the rock brothers. Shout out to Will too, man. I'm and shout out to uh, I'm already the great and looter, man. Shout out to everybody, man. I'm gonna have to go pray for uh, Will. I'm starting to feel bad for him. Hey man, feel bad for Will. Will, I right. 
He won't do something that he won't. <laughs> he won't do something that boy. I'm talking about. He good. Slap man. I slap. I slap taste out of his mouth. I won the Oscars and then I resigned. I'm the greatest to ever do it. He resigned from what? Uh, the Academy. He resigned from the Academy. Yeah. Oh, definitely kick him out anyway. Of course. <laughs> so I was so just going to resign. Resign before they kicked me out. Went out like an OG. That ain't how you want to go out, man. No, no, that man. Ain't, you that put, ain't what you don't put do. your don't with put, your career, man. Do That's not, not what you want to do. What you mean? He that, done everything he has that, to that do. That ain't what you want to do. Man. What's cool? What you, you we, can't even you be a part of the academy. What if when cool. when when Will stop acting, he becomes this great producer? He can't even his movies and stuff can't even be recognized by the academy. Who cares? Who always look at the academy? Actors care. That's why they're there. They care. We don't care. I didn't, didn't even watch the Oscars. Didn't care. My man, they care. My though. man, that matters to it them. It don't now. I got mine. What did you tell you in school? I got mine. That matters. It don't to matter, them, man. man it, not the, to the ones that ain't got none. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. To play in the league all there, these years and never win a there, championship. There's I'm pretty a sure it reason, does. There's a reason Denzel is at the Oscars every year, and he has an Oscar. There, but there's there's a reason he still goes, even even when he's not even nominated. He's there. Different strokes for that different folks. matters to them. Different strokes for different folks, man. Obviously, cuz didn't give not one. He he cared, he cared more about what he did than all that what you're but talking about. I don't about. know why, cuz what he stood up for it. Why he did, man? He didn't stand up for her, man. That, that wasn't standing up for her. She didn't need standing up for. He didn't go down there to physically assault her. He see he, he did verbally. He yeah. said he and, 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 he said and, something and that world, pissed her worldwide. off. Worldwide, he said something that pissed her off that her husband thought was funny until he looked over at her. No, he what he thought was funny is how funny he he didn't think. The comeback was gonna be. He thought the cubs, the cubs laugh. You ever seen somebody laugh? But they finna, they finna, they finna. I'm talking about beat the brakes off you, but they laughing. You trying to ride for him again? Oh, man. Team Will, no, Team bro. Will, man, bro, that's no, hard. Man, that no, man bro. said, man, that man, was some, that, that, man that, was, that was weak. Will. Be, be that was so weak. How that was weak? That, was weak, that man dog. talked about a man. Why he? You don't do that, bro. You don't right. do that. Then you right. just, just don't right. walk up and just sneak the man. What for you real, talking about, real? that man wife? Oh, uh, you just gonna you, sneak you, the man? Sneak. Bro? Anybody can get these jokes. How did he? Sneak? Everybody how, gets how, these jokes. How did bro. he sneak them? He snuck him, bro. Chris Rock was not expecting that man to come up there and hit him. He thought he was gonna come and get a hug. He thought he was gonna come up there and grab the mic. He didn't have a mic in his hand. But he thought he was gonna <laughs> come up there and do and and because because Chris was like, uh oh, here we go. Because what he thought he finna do? Come up there, okay. That uh, <laughs> clip, uh, that clip of uh, Bruce, Bruce, and uh, David Mann at the uh, Steve Harvey Hoodie Awards, where David Mann was up there to present an award. He got to cracking on Bruce, Bruce. Bruce, Bruce came up on the stage and started cracking on David Mann, and they went back and forth. I think that's what Chris thought was finna happen. It was between them though. It went. Did they ain't say it was a one on one. One on one, we were roasting one on one. I'm talking about you. You talking about me. I'm talking about but, you. You talking about me. The joke before that was at Will. Okay. Then he just threw that Lajada joke in. So he, when Will got up, he thought he was gonna come up on the stage and they were gonna go do a little banner back on some fourth. That's why he was just like, uh oh, uh oh. He had his hands in his pocket. Uh oh. Wham! I tell you what. So yeah, he's snuck him. I tell you what. He's I bet you. I bet him, you won't talk about nobody else, wife. I bet you. I bet, will. I bet you won't talk he about nobody else. He's on tour now too. I bet all you. Right. Like he's still right. in the world. All right. Like, all right. You gonna be another? All right. You better. Hey, listen. I you better guarantee. Learn. I can guarantee. Yeah. Like yeah. my boy Denzel say, I guarantee. If that was Dave Chappelle, after that slap, he would have let Jada have it. He would have went for forty five minutes of straight roasting, not stopping. Yeah, but see, didn't Chris hear. humbly bowed out. Yeah, somebody like a Dave Chappelle, they would have to literally just cut and just to get him off the stage. There's a lot of folk, but Chris was the one that said it, and he was the one that had and to. That's the reason Chris he, got hands he, is because he knew because Chris is the one that said it. If there's anybody else, I don't think Will would have reacted that way. But I digress. I don't think nobody else would have came at Jay though like that. Shit, yes, they would have, bro. Not at the Oscars. When you sit, when you sit in those seats. Not at the Oscars. No, no, seriously. When you sit in those seats at the Oscars, you're you're gonna get roasted. That is how the Oscars work. No, the comedians that come up come up to roast them. Though those people sitting at those front seats are your guests of honor. Mm -hmm. Those are the people that are nominated that mm -hmm. are gonna win. Mm -hmm. When you come, when the comedians come up, mm -hmm. their job is to roast them. Mm -hmm. Because they're the guest of honor. And Will's job is if you just talk about my wife, I'm finna slap yeah, taste out your mouth. Move, <laughs> that's a a punk move. I digress though. I'm done with it. I ain't talking about it no more. I'm done with the whole situation. Hey, if y'all see Cuz talk about somebody else's wife, what's two what what are they? What are they? March? Cuz you say he on tour? 
Yeah, he don't yeah, talk. Yeah, well, he got about he got about what about nine more months for the dude again. I want to see. Hey, nine more months, I guarantee you the man will not. I say, guarantee he will. Oh, we gonna be covering it right here first on live and legit. Hey man, where can they find us at? Hey man, as always, you, you know you find us on. Uh, Facebook hey, Live Legend Legit. Thank Twitter you. Live <laughs> underscore legit. Hey, shot with your boys. I at mess it up every time. www.livelitlegit.com, man. Right. IG is Live Lit Legit. Cool, man. Definitely. It's your boy, Two Cup Smith. And your boy. Always your boy. Q Self. I said Q Self. Q Self. Q Self itself. It's your boy, Q Self. Q Self crew. <laughs> hey, man, I'm drunk. Let's go, man. <laughs> That's all <so> right. <laughs>